Hey, I'm back, and I thought today I'd start something called Software Sunday. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to review some type of new software on Sundays. I don't know if I can do it every Sunday, so don't hold me to that, but I'll try to do it at least most Sundays. And I want to go through some software that most people haven't either heard of or maybe it's not so popular so there's not so many reviews on it. So anyways, let's get started. The first one I want to do is actually by Hornet and it's called the HDS1. So as you can see, it's an emulation of the Boss DS1, you know, really popular distortion pedal used by like Kurt Cobain, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, etc. And so you see it has the normal comp- uh, controls and then it has some extra things like the analog emulation i'm not sure exactly what that does but eh, whatever analog hiss i just turn that off i don't need any hiss i have enough hiss already and the ultra mode which is really cool i think it's the seeing eye mod from keely the keely seeing eye mod for the ds1 but it might also be the analog man mod i'm not sure and it also has the wet dry control here so it looks really cool but let's hear it so first, I'll, now it's off, I'll let you hear just the sound of this amp. So this is the Steeler from Scuffum S-Gear, and it's just like a Marshall simulation, and there's not too much gain, so I'll let you hear it now. Okay, so you hear just a tiny bit of gain, but now let's turn this on. So as you can hear, there's quite a bit of distortion. This is kind of like a polarizing pedal because some people really like the tone of this. It's really biting, but other people don't. Also, it has quite a bit of gain. I'll turn it on and I'll go through the gain range quickly. So as you can hear, there's a lot of gain on tap with that. And this isn't even the ultra mode. The ultra mode has even more. It can get a little bit piercing, so I don't like to turn it up that high. And I think, honestly, it's best used as a kind of like minimal distortion. Just kind of push the amp a little bit. Have the amp distorted a little bit and use this with a little bit of distortion. And I think that's, you know, the best use of it. But let me take you through the tone control, too. So as you can hear, it goes from really uh, muffled to really thin and uh, shrill. But let me show you the ultra mode here. This gives it a lot more gain. It also puts like a low pass filter, so it's a little bit smoother on the top. There you go. You can hear you can hear all the extra hiss that <laughs> comes out of there too. So that's kind of the bad part about it. But it does sound good. Um let me show you uh here. Let me kind of change this up a little bit and let me put a little bit of gain on the steeler. So this is with the pedal off. <laughs> Turn the gain down a little bit too, a little bit less. So there's nowhere near enough distortion. Put this on. So as you can hear, this is like a cool thing for just boosting it a little bit. I like it to use it like this where it's like, ah, it doesn't have quite enough gain. Just use it a little bit more, almost like an overdrive pedal. I think it sounds better like that. But uh, let's do something else. Let's see if I kind of want like a more of a Steve Vai type sound. So what I want to do is bring the tone down to around like 10 o'clock or so. Uh, 
Mm, the distortion's okay. I'll switch it to the ultra mode, but I don't want a bunch of buzzing in the background. I'll turn on this delay. Let's see. Stereo mode. Make it wide. Turn the mix up just a little bit. Feedback way up. And move that up a little bit too. And let's see. Hopefully this should give me a somewhat vi-like tone. <laughs> As you could hear, it has that really smooth tone if you turn the tone uh, the tone knob down a little bit so you can cut off some of that high end. And it also, it's really, really compressed. So it's fun to play with. If you do lots of like tapping stuff, this is really good for that. So if you like that kind of like shred stuff or legato and that kind of thing and you're looking for something that will, you know, give you that kind of like compression and that oomph that makes it, you know, easy and fun to play with, this is the pedal that'll do it. And in my opinion, it sounds really good. On top of all this, it's dirt cheap. I think it goes like for a normal price of eight euros or so. And it oftentimes goes on sale for almost like half that price. So you can get it for like four euros, which is nothing. That's like a price of coffee at starbucks or something so you can't beat the price it sounds really good and i know i didn't go over everything it can do in here but as you can see it's between the ultra mode and the normal mode and the tone controls there's a lots of different tones you can get out of this i would personally use this for like maybe punk rock or hard rock or definitely shred or maybe even fusion I don't think this is a great pedal for heavy metal because unlike a Tube Screamer, this doesn't cut off the low end. So this pedal is not like a tight pedal. This pedal can definitely get very flabby on the low end if you let it. So for that kind of application, I don't know. But to use it for something else, especially for like lead guitar, it sounds really good. It's very smooth and it's very, it's a fun one to play on, you know. <laughs> you whip out all those legato licks or tapping licks you usually don't do. So if you're into people like Satriani or Steve Vai, definitely check this out. And even if you're not and you just want something kind of like more of a, a rock tone, check this out. Because for, you know, eight euros, what do you have to lose? Uh, only thing I'd really complain about is there's a little bit of noise. If you have any kind of noise going in your sig- going through your guitar, like most people do, it's going to amplify it, which is bad. But uh, if you saw my other video, there's ways you can kind of take that out later. And the only other complaint I have is uh, Hornet doesn't make more pedals. This is uh, the only distortion they have so far, and I'm hoping they make a few more because I like this one a lot. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and uh, until next time, see you.